So in this video, we will learn about creating a radio buttons control. So follow these steps to create a radio buttons control. Add a radio buttons control to the front panel window. Add additional boolean controls to the radio buttons control. We can also clone an existing boolean control in the radio buttons control. We can configure the radio buttons control by right clicking the control and selecting from the following items in the shortcut menu. Allow no selection gives the user the option of selecting non or one of the boolean controls in the radio buttons control. So none of the button is now selected. Mechanical action. Sets the mechanical action of the radio buttons control to switch when pressed or switch when released. We cannot set the mechanical action for individual boolean controls in the radio buttons control. If we try to, we get no option for mechanical action for individual controls. We can use the labeling tool to edit the label for each boolean control in the radio buttons control. Each boolean control must have a unique label. If we selected allow no selection option and we create a label of no selection for a boolean control in the radio buttons control the vi returns a broken run button if we click it the following text appears radio buttons radio button has enumeration conflict each boolean control in a radio buttons control must have a unique label if you enable allow no selection no boolean control in the radio buttons control can have a label of no selection. Make sure each boolean control has a unique and valid label. So let's change it to something valid. We can create a case structure to handle the item the user selected in the radio buttons control.
A radio potency control appears on the block diagram as an enumerated type. If no item is selected, the numeric value of the radio button control is 0 and the string value is no selection. 